old computer. It's not my dad's anymore. Talking about that later on in a future video. But, uh, it's my dad's old one he gave to me when he passed away, essentially. My dad passed away about 10 years ago? Yeah, 10 years ago. 2005. So it's 2015 now, and he passed away in October. So this year it will be 10 years. So he kind of told me, you know, take care of your, your my old computers, and I kind of did. And this computer is, I don't know if it says it anywhere, but it was built on Saturday, and I was built in January 2004 which is pretty old and yes it's a Pentium 4 yes it's 2.66 gigahertz which had to be one of the top of the line Pentium 4's from that time L level 2 cache uh, 512 megabits integrated and the search tag you guys can take that if you want uh, BIOS version 812 alright so let me show you how this is configured so I have two SATA hard drives inside of this computer and one IDE CD-ROM drive. Let's see, you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Um, yeah, I'm missing a second master drive, I think. I don't know what you call it, but a second CD-ROM drive. And the reason why I don't have a second one in here, first of all, I don't open it again. Eventually, I'll put it in there when I get a chance. But... I have a big gaping hole in the front of the computer and it's missing a DVD drive because <laughs> I don't have enough screws but I just found three screws and I'll be able to put it in there so let's turn it off let's go back and see what operating system it currently has yes it's a Pentium 4 and it's not the HT it's just a standard Pentium 4 and Yes, I have Windows 8.1 on here. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is going on? Pentium 4 cannot run Windows 8.1. I followed a guy's tutorial on the internet, and it does work. And it apparently works with all versions of Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and apparently Windows 10. I have not tested Windows 10 yet. But it apparently works with Windows 10. But it is extremely slow with Windows 8.1 on this old bill. But it does work. And in case you're wondering how the heck I'm getting 1920 by 1080 on an old Pentium 4 computer, it's because of the graphics card. I upgraded the graphics card of this Dell computer. The graphics card in here was crud. It actually broke. Like the graphics card physically stopped working. You would install the graphics driver and the thing would go black and it would not turn on. So I bought in a graphics card. You're not going to believe it. It's an NVIDIA GeForce 6200 in an old 2004 Pentium 4 and this 6200 happens to have 512 megabytes of VRAM which is insane for a computer this old um, it's Windows 8.1 Enterprise Evaluation 2013 Microsoft Core uh, 2013 on a 2004 Dell. Uh, Pentium 4, 2.6 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM. This thing maxes out at 4 gigs, 32 bit x86 processor, no pen, no touch. Dell. How rockin' is that? And if we go into processors, yes, we see one Pentium 4. This thing can run Leopard, not Snow Leopard, because of the graphics card. But, I'll prove it to you, it's Windows 8. Look, it's Windows 8. Go into here. I have all these apps installed. Actually, these are the ones that come with Windows 8. But, you're not going to believe it. 
but they actually work on a Pentium 4, which is marvelous. Um, it's really awesome. And I love being on this old Dell and having it work. Yeah, you can actually see Morristown, which is near where I live. Now can I can't tell you where I live. Okay. So, let's see what else I can show you. It's up enough music. See if it works. Alright. Let's go to my collection. Yeah, I have to sync all my music with this. Alright. So, basically, this old computer is running something that it shouldn't be running. And yes, Windows Store does work. I will put a link to the guy's tutorial in the description of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and just stay tuned. More stuff is a coming. Um, Alright, see you guys. Peace.